Hey, what's up? I'm Ryan, and in this video, I'm going to show you the various types and methods of duplication within Blender. So sit back, relax, and let's get to it. As I have before, I'll start with the theory side of things, then move on to the practical. If you just want the practical, skip to the time on screen now. So first, I'll go over the duplication types. We have copy, duplication, and linked duplication. Copy and duplication are very similar, but still have their own uses and limitations. Copy allows you to copy an object to the clipboard. The clipboard temporarily stores a copy of your object, which you can then paste into your scene as many times as you want. As for the limitations, well, limitations is probably too strong of a word, but I'll give you an example. So if you try to copy and paste an object while in edit mode, you can't actually paste the object. You would use the duplication method instead, which is Shift D. It's also worth mentioning when you copy and paste your object, you're also duplicating the material, which is super annoying because if you don't know that, then you go into your shader tab and you're wondering why you have 20 copies of the same material. The next one is duplicate. Duplicate allows you to make a singular duplication of an object without having to copy it to the clipboard, which is pretty nice since you can keep a different object stored in the clipboard without overriding it by duplicating. Duplication works in both object mode and edit mode. The drawback of duplication is that it can only make a singular duplicated object. So you would have to reselect the object anytime you wanted to make a duplication. Another drawback is that you can't actually use the duplicate feature in the view layer tab for individual objects. However, you can use the copy and paste feature. With that being said, you can duplicate entire collections. So as you can see, there are upsides and downsides to both methods. So use both. Moving on to the other duplication type, link duplication. So link duplication allows you to make a duplicated object that replicates any changes made to the original or any other duplicated objects. So if you make any changes to your original object or the duplicated object, so those changes will apply to all of the duplicated objects, including the original. So it doesn't matter which one you change, they all change. It works similar to prefabs if you've ever worked in the game engine. The drawback is if you're not aware that you've created a linked duplication, it could be catastrophic. But don't let that put you off, it's actually super useful. So now that you have some idea of what the duplication types are, let's head over to Blender. Okay, so we're in Blender, and I like to try and keep things as easy as possible in order for beginners to follow along. So I'll just use this default scene for this tutorial. The first method is something you'll no doubt be familiar with, which is just copy and paste. You can do this in a few ways. You can either select your object in the viewport window, or over here in the view layers tab, and use Ctrl C, Ctrl V. You could right click on the model and go to copy and right click in the scene and select paste. You can also select your cube and go over here to object, copy and then object, paste. And if you're wondering how to move your model, you can select the move tool just to the left here and click and drag these arrows. Or you could select G in order to move it freely. And if you wish, you can either hit X, Y or Z to move it in any of the directions you choose. So that's it for the copy and paste feature. And as I mentioned earlier, be aware when you copy and paste a model, as you'll also be duplicating its material. The next method is duplication. So select your model and hit Shift D. Then like we did before, select G to grab it and X, Y or Z to move it. I'll just move mine over here. You can also right click on the model and select duplicate, as well as go into object and duplicate. If you just look to the bottom left here, you can see a little properties window. It allows you to change things like its position, orientation, and whether or not it's linked, which leads me into the final duplication type. So the last duplication type is linked duplication. This duplication type is actually quite unique and can be pretty useful. So there are a few ways to make a linked duplication. The first is the most simple. If you select the object and hit Alt D, we have a linked duplication. We can also right click and select duplication link or even go to Object, Duplication Link. And as we previously saw, you can make a regular duplication and change its properties within this little window. So to show you what's unique about Link Duplication, I'll make a linked duplication of this cube and edit it within edit mode. So as you can see, when I drag the geometry up and down, it moves on both models. Now this only works on the most basic geometric level. So if I were to add a modifier, such as bevel to this object, it wouldn't apply to both, but as you can see, I can still edit the mesh. So if you found this video helpful, feel free to give it a like, and if you have any questions or run into any issues, leave a comment down below and I'll try and help you out. That's all from me, I'll see you around.